Hi guys, so today I'm just gonna do something a little bit different. Um, we just came from the library and I, you know, asked Riley if she would just do an impromptu interview with me. So I'm gonna ask her a few questions about being an only child in homeschooling. And you don't know the questions, do you? You don't, you have no idea what they are, right? So come a little bit closer to here. Have you not, you haven't seen Riley for a while. Say hi, Riley. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask you questions, and Riley, you can answer, please answer them as honestly as you possibly can, okay? Um, don't worry about it. Just be honest, you know, and just forthright. Okay, what do you like about being um, an only child homeschooling? What do you like about it? I like that there's no interruptions. Okay. No interruptions. Okay, <laughs> that's it? <laughs> Okay. Okay. What do you not like about being an only child homeschooler? Say it louder, kids. I want a little sister and brother. Okay. What else? But according to you, homeschooling, like, not just wanting a little brother or sister, but what else do you not like about it? Math. Yeah, but math has to. You would still it be doing. It has to do with school. Okay, so you don't like math in general, no. regardless. No. Okay, all right. Okay, so these are just honest answers, folks. You know, no coaching involved. So this is what she's saying. What kind of advice would you give to uh, a parent who has an only child looking to start homeschooling? What would you tell them to do? Um, you said you want to, you, you want to give them their space, okay. but you want to help them. So you don't want to be up in their face like, do you need help? Do you need help? You want to like give them time. If they need help, then they're going to tell you okay. they need help. So just so, so if I can paraphrase, um, give them the opportunity to be independent, but then also be available for help. Okay. But what about a parent who is worried that their only child would be, is going to be like bored or not have any friends or anything like that? Like, is that something that you're, that you faced being an only child, like being bored or not having friends? Mm -hmm. What did you do to overcome that? Did you do anything to overcome that? Mom, mom took me out to co-op. Yeah. What's co-op? Co-op is like a thing where all homeschoolers come together and they do different things like cooking and make it messy with just making slime and stuff and I'm doing make it I'm doing cooking art and writing okay so would you say if you're an only child it's just it's better to kind of get your kid outside and doing things with other homeschoolers mm-hmm okay okay it's learning it makes learning fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you have any other lasting comments, Riley, to talk about? Anything to do with homeschooling or only kid, only children, or do you have any advice to give to anybody? Anything like that? You can talk for a few seconds. Do you have anything? No. No. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. First hand experience from my daughter. How old are you, Riley? Eleven. Yeah. She just turned 11 in March. First-hand experience from my daughter who's been homeschooling from the beginning. Um, she's been homeschooling since kindergarten. So this is our sixth year together. And it's been up, like, what's, what's your favorite part about homeschooling? What's your favorite part? Um, I like online work. Okay. Anything else? What's your favorite subject? Art. Art. That's language not so art. Language. You like so language arts, not art. Yeah, language. But you are a creative. You like to draw and color and paint and all that, anyways. Um, from kindergarten, um, remember we did a craft almost every day in kindergarten. We did a craft all the time. So Riley likes to paint and draw and create, and so do I. So she probably gets that from me. Um, yeah. All right. What's your least favorite thing about homeschooling? And then we'll we'll end the video. Your least favorite thing about homeschooling. Least, yeah. Least with this. History and geography. Okay. Yeah. And math. And Mostly math. Mostly history and geography. Mostly history and geography. Okay. All right. If you guys have any questions, holler below. Say bye, Riley. Bye. Okay, bye.